That's two minutes! These Texas game wardens are hitting the water, which isn't easy when you're wearing 20 pounds of gear. There you go. We've got weighted gun belts with uh, metal guns in it and bulletproof vest and, and our full uniform, boots, everything. Six Texas game wardens have drowned in the line of duty. This groundbreaking training aims to change that. This is to give them the skills to survive falling into water. If they're boarding a shrimp boat, getting from one boat to another, falling in. Good morning, stay game warden. Respond to a flooded situation and slip and fall into the water. I'll hold on to the landing. Um, somebody fights them and ends up in the water. Stay back, stay back. We want them to be comfortable enough in the water to be able to survive that and get back out. <laughs> Texas game wardens are some of the first officers in the nation to receive this specialized training. You can rupture your eardrum during this evolution. It's based on real life situations. The first part of the obstacle course, it's to simulate being under a boat hull or in a boat cabin caught. Then they will swim and hold a volleyball to simulate somebody's head above the water, a small child above the water, any object like that. A little bit farther, a little bit farther, come on. It is a very physically demanding class. Push through it. It's totally different than wearing just a bathing suit. I mean, it's all added weight that's just dragging you down. You don't float like you normally would with just normal swimwear on. You start sinking a lot faster. Keep going, you're almost there. This training is helping everybody overcome that moment of panic to show us that we can do it and instill confidence in us. And while they may not win most graceful, ultimately they could save lives. These are the skills that they're developing so that their name is not on a plaque on the wall. Push through it. Come on. For Texas Parks and Wildlife, this is Abe Moore.